Welcome everybody to Warwick Car Club. Time for the next Heat 2 race of the day. And it is the Flyers, the Tag Lights, who've made their way out. These guys are super quick. Round they come then, 14 laps of racing on Heat number two. For these guys, oh no! Dirty for 30 on the roll-up lap, Aaron Williams. Shakes his head. I think uh, a little bit too much of the wiggle on the steering wheel that time, and round she went. So let's just let them start their formation lap. Alrighty, here we go then. In one, the Power Republic factory pilot of Lucas O'Connor. Out of two, the 98 of Sammy Seacombe. Out of three, the 35, Aaron Williams. From four, the number four, Robbie Reed. From five, the number eight, the famous Japanese samurai, Jumpai Marita. And from six, Wellesley, Brett Wells. That's how they line up, and they all go through. Broderick's the right hand and onto better bends, nice and steadily. So we will get a race start this time. What will Sammy Seacombe do this time with the flyer? The Power Republic factory pilot of Lucas O'Connor moved up from the restricted class into the open class and has loved it already. And looks mighty fast at Sammy Seacombe. Sammy Seacombe looks up and gives a big old nod as if to say, just watch me go. He gave me a little wink last night and a little chat we had in the pits. He is a very, very confident boy indeed. And he is absolutely going to give this one a red on go. And as if to say, watch this, he gives a wink coming into the DPA chicane. Do we go green first time? Away we go. And round the inside, oh, he's going to go outside, is he? Oh, he holds it. And he switched to the inside. Boy, oh boy, what a move. Seacombe, intentions made very early on. And somehow, from the outside, switches to the inside and goes to the lead of this race. Lucas O'Connor did not see that coming. Williams has got P3. Robbie Reed's got P4. Into P5, the Japanese samurai of jump by Marita. Wellesley, P6. Round they come in. On the inside, O'Connor goes to the lead, but the cutback is on. Whoa, now he holds the inside and holds his nerve. Now the slingshot. These two, they are going to get it on. It is going to be pass or be passed by the looks of it, because Seacombe does not want to lose this race. And Lucas O'Connor is absolutely going to give as good as he gets. We have got a cracker on our hands. Get yourselves to the fence line. This is going to be electrifying. Williams holding on to P3, but the gap is already starting to open up. Robbie Reed's trying to stay with him. Back they come then. O'Connor, Seacombe, Williams, Reed. Wellesley, till they all go, and the front two still locked up together and not being dropped yet. So Seacom has got to just bide his time now. He can't just go hard straight out of the gate. He's got to really start to think about this one. He's already had the lead and already been passed back by O'Connor. O'Connor, the wily old competitor, knows what to do. O'Connor, Seacom, Williams, Reed. Marita, Wellesley, all go through into Broderick's and on to better bands. Back they'll come towards me. The tag lights this is. Heat number two, cool runnings. Warwick Car Club. And O'Connor. Looks comfortable at the moment. But they all go steaming into Cashies. Williams is starting to get closed up by Robbie Reed and just by Marita. Wells has got dropped off a little bit. Robbie Reed just lost that rear end there a bit. I think the front end tucked under as well. Got a little bit of a gap opened up on him from Williams. But the lead too. Look at O'Connor starting to turn the screw. Has Seacom been off more than he can chew? Because O'Connor, boy oh boy, is he launched. And look at Reed, he's been passed. Marita's gone through on him. Jump by Marita, the Japanese samurai goes up to P4. O'Connor, Seacom, Williams, Marita. Here he goes, it's a Now back towards us. 
and Jumbai Marija, our favourite Japanese samurai, looks quick, and now he's in pursuit. Will he catch him now, Williams? He's also trying to slow up on the front two. He's not going much slower than those. He is on their tail. So Williams trying to close the front two. Marita now is going to take off after him. Robbie Reed's trying to hang on in there, but he can't go with that pace. Marita's left him already. Back with the leader, so O'Connor. He's got 0.574, and he is two tenths quicker than Sammy Seekham at the moment. <laughs> Trying to chase him, but can't hold on at the moment. O'Connor looks, looks over the shoulder, looks comfortable. Williams goes through. Then Marita and Reed, followed by Wellesley. Back with the leaders are already into. Power Republic already heading down. Into pit corner, back onto Cossa. That time, whoa, Seekham was a tenth quicker. Seekham starting to get his breath back. He's had a little think about it. And on lap five, the gap just came down by a tenth. Is he going to start to reel him in again? Does he maybe now get the bit between his teeth? This time we'll see what he's got. Heading for Cassie. He's still going to get the lines right. He's got to concentrate. He's really got to think about it. Brother going to pub. Slides it in. Backs it out. He's on the line. I think he just slowed down a bit on that one. And the gap goes to point six. He was a tenth slower himself. It is a very big game of cut mice between these two, but it is still O'Connor, Seeker, Williams, Marita, Reed, Wellesley. They've all gone through Costa now, but the leaders are already into Broderick and onto better pens. Back towards me they come. Each time Seeker has to think about it, he gets closer. But the lines that O'Connor is taking. And Seacombe's got to tidy it up. He's really got to calm it down and tidy it up. And he will close him down. He knows he can go quicker, but he must not get panicky. 0.615 the gap. That time there was just two one hundredths of a second between them. He knows he's quick. But O'Connor at the moment looks comfortable. Through Broderick they go. All head into Bella Benz. Marita's getting away from Reed still. Back towards me then. Still O'Connor from Seacomb. Seacomb still chasing. Into Cassie. Williams, Marita, Robbie Reed. Wellesley's dropped off the back. There goes Wellesley. Not been in the car for a few months and a little bit rusty still. Round he goes into pub. Whilst the leaders are already coming back towards me. Through pit corner, onto Cossa. The gap now, 0.765. Lucas O'Connor having moved up from the tag restricted class into the tag light class. The factory, Power Republic pilot, looks mighty quick. Round he comes. Through Cassie. Close up again. Was there a mistake? Was there a mistake? Because Seacomb is definitely closer. That is not point seven. That is way closer. That is now point four. He just took two turns. He's got a 44-2. Sammy Seacomb just put in a 44-299. And suddenly he's right on his tail. He seemed to do it all in one lap. And he's now right on him. Boy, oh boy, what did he do there? That was three tenths of a lap quicker. Unbelievable stuff. Sammy Seacom now. Chasing hard. He's got some speed. He needs consistency. He's got to keep doing the line he did on that last lap, but doesn't seem to have a consistency. Over the line they go. O'Connor from Seacom. 0.444. 0.461 now, that time they matched each other's lap times. 
It's one thing catching him, it's going to be another thing going past him. And then William, Marita, Robbie Ree, they all go through. On to racing ears. But they'll go into Broderick's as the leader's already coming through. New pub. Now they'll come past me under the DPE chicane. O'Connor and Seekamos together. He's caught him with four to go. Seekam. He's caught O'Connor. Sammy Seekam. He's down right with him. Look at this. We've got a race on our hands. He left it till three to go. Was he sandbagging? I'm not sure, but right now, he has all the pace in the cart. And Sammy Seacombe seems to be able to do nothing wrong. The cart goes anywhere he wants. So they go as a 44, 2, 3, 4. Seacombe suddenly turned up the wick. And O'Connor may not know it, but that car behind is mighty fast. Run they come to GPE into Cashies. Seacombe stays where he is. Still stays there. And they go to pub. But they will head down. Sinking straight with two to go. Where will Seacom make the move? Is he going to be in pit corner? Closing, closing. Whoa, he doesn't go. Stays where he is. He had a look though. He was up the outside. Now he's on the inside and goes through. Racing ears. Looks to go left. Hard left. The car back isn't on. Goes into better bends. Back they will come. And still O'Connor. Whoa, Seacomb. Had a little look. Just a little touch. Now he's going to go up. Cashy, surely. The move. Does he move out wide? Yes, he does. He goes through. Sammy Seacomb has gone through and he will hold the inside line and whatever you can do I will do the same Sammy Seacom has gone through with one to go what does Lucas O'Connor do what a race we've got this is on for the last lap Sammy Seacom holds holds still wow he's put the afterburners on Seacom to Cartland O'Connor though closed up again into better bands he hasn't won it yet. Oh, now he has. He's got it wrong. O'Connor went wrong in better pens. Seacombe's done him. Big, big lead. Sammy Seacombe, he shut the door and didn't need to because he wasn't even there. And it is tag line. He's to your winner. Sammy Seacombe. Second, Lucas O'Connor. Third. Aaron Williams, fourth Robbie Reid, fifth will be Wellesley, and jump by Marita, unfortunately, has lost it over there. Somehow, the cart has got a ride on the exit to pit corner, but what a race, and Sammy Seacombe, he will be chuffed with that one. So Sammy... Got it all right, just where he needed to.